All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You really notice your boy love when I hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this for a minute. Now, if you ask me, I think it's pretty much guaranteed, set in stone, that Errol Spence is not going back to 147. So if Terrence Crawford wants this fight, he has to come to 154 like he's been talking about going to this whole time anyway. Let's not act like Terrence Crawford has not been talking about facing Jamel Charlo anyway at 154. So the fight is still possible. The world don't revolve around Terrence Crawford. I know a lot of these Crawford fans don't want to hear this, but it's just the truth. He had an opportunity to face Errol Spence. He chose to face David and lost his opportunity. So he has to stay at 147. And I'm assuming he's going to have to fight for Errol Spence's vacant titles at 147. Unless Errol Spence chooses to keep him. Because it's a possibility that Errol Spence can go back to 147. But I just don't see it. I mean, he already made history at 147. He's unified. And if he go up to 154 and becomes undisputed, then the sky really is the limit for him. Then he can go to 160. And I do believe Earl Spence can make 160 in his near future. And I don't see nobody beating Earl Spence at 154. Maybe an older Laura will give Earl Spence problems, but now... That's just another Jared Hurd versus Aries Lenny Lara all over again. And even though I thought Lara arguably beat Jared Hurd, keep in mind that was a younger Lara. Now we're talking about an older Lara, and Errol Spence is a prime Jared Hurd times five. We all know this. And come on, I think it's pretty much obvious that Jamel Charlo ain't beaten. Errol Spence so we could just quit with that one I feel like he has a bigger chance to make history more at 154 than 147 of course you guys will say he's ducking Crawford me personally I don't feel he is and me personally if you want to get even more deeper I think the fight is going to happen at 154 and for all the Crawford fans out there just be patient because they give Crawford a chance to be undisputed in three weight classes, 140, 147, because if Errol Spence stays at 154, he got to vacate. And if he beats Errol Spence, then he gets all the belts. Just imagine if Terrence Crawford was former undisputed champions in three different weight classes. Marinate on